What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today's March 3rd, 2020. It's been a while. It's been over, not over, just under two weeks since I've placed a trade. And I finally got to trade today. I placed two trades. I kind of cheated the system, mainly because I was very antsy to try to get myself into a trade and i'm not necessarily proud of it but it was a winning trade so i got to tell you about it i traded the q's q q q let me show you the trade here it's two individual trades the first one and i traded the the exact same puts i traded the uh, two 11 puts uh, that expire in 10 days march 13th this is again on the q's the first and I only bought one at a time I and that's not necessarily the way that I like to do things uh, but they're so expensive they're so expensive because the markets are ha have been moving so much lately so the first time that I got in I bought at 613 got in at 1143 and what you're looking here at what you're looking at here in these three charts off to the far left you have the intraday one minute chart of the options that i was trading the minutes or excuse me the middle chart is a one hour chart on the queues and the far right is the uh five minute chart on the queues but i'm actually going to uh, change that to the daily chart and i'll tell you a flaw in this strategy that i've been using but first of all let's talk about that trade i bought in at 11:43 my time 6 13 11 43 where are we right smack dab there right there of course a bunch of others uh did trade oh just just three three um three trades there three contracts but i did just buy one and then i sold that one for just under 10 percent gains at 670 um at 11 55 so what 12 minutes afterwards 11 55 right there 670 that was a good trade and they actually ended up going all the way up to 760 again i'm not necessarily disappointed i made my money i'm good it's 10 percent. 10 percent is always my base easy uh target um to to shoot for and then the second one i got in at 647 right towards the end of the day just uh, 17 minutes before the closing bell at 647 i my, my original plan was i was going to hold that uh, contract overnight uh what time did i get in e 143 my time what is that 143 my time right there 647 oh no 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 143 which is the next one right there at the top there and then it actually ended up taking all the way to 565 i did not actually see that i'm thankful for that and check that out i ended up selling at 711 for again just under 10 percent gains at uh 151 just nine minutes eight minutes before the closing bell that was me that was me i was really proud about that let's break down that trade that trade essentially we were waiting for the markets to bounce a little bit to retrace and once it did yesterday it closed above that upper mobile band again this is a one hour chart closed above that upper mobile band waiting for it to close below that lower mobile band as well and the it's scary guys it's scary um trading these markets where it's so volatile uh the spreads on these options are ridiculous sometimes um i saw as as wide as uh, 50 60 70 cents at a time that's huge and that's why you know as soon as i got into profits um hit my 10 percent gains i just got out but knowing that it didn't actually um start moving higher and it came back down i decided to trade it again and i don't know why it's not showing up the profit loss for the day it was 121 dollars. i did make 121 dollars off of just two options one at a time as you can see for the year the profit loss for the year i'm up 50 or excuse me 500 dollars, which is 50 percent 
Um, that's huge. That's really huge. That's not a whole lot of money. I, I, I'm not concerned about that. I'm never concerned about the actual dollar uh, value. Um, I'm concerned about the the percentage returns because really the idea is I can just scale up my trades, just trade with more money, um, keep piling it on, keep piling it on, never trading. I never want to get myself into a situation where I'm trading with 100% of my entire portfolio. In this case, you know, for the $1,500 that's you know again that's uh, we'll we'll see how it goes it's kind of tough um realistically speaking trading with a lot of money a lot of money meaning maybe a hundred thousand dollars i wouldn't want to trade more than five ten percent out of my entire portfolio in one uh, position many would say that's even too much uh some people would love to bring that down to one two three four percent but again it's not really realistic whenever you have a fifteen hundred dollar trading account so again i just wanted to show you those trades that i made today i was pretty proud about those those trades and again i i didn't tell you exactly how i cheated the system i actually bought well before that uh candle actually closed uh confirming that it closed uh below that lower mobo band so i did cheat a little bit that's not necessarily my uh, mantra motto not the way that i do things uh, but i i was really itching for a trade and the funny part is had i actually waited to uh trade at the close of that candle would have gone in at 12 30 let's say the same uh options 12 30 uh, there wasn't a trade at 12 30 but at 12 31 would have bought in at 682 10 percent that's 68 cents as you can see, it went up to 760. So you could have made your 10% had you been patient and actually followed the strategy itself. Um, I Let's move on a little bit to the flaw that I noticed in this strategy. It is a trend strategy. With that being said, when the trend just keeps going and doesn't pause um, like it, it was all this time here, it would go up, consolidate, um, that's where we would get in, go up, consolidate, go up, consolidate, and so on, stair step, uh, staircase kind of mentality or view, visual for you guys that like that. Um, it's just been just down, 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 down on the cues on the daily chart. As you guys know, as I have explained it in the past, uh, the direction that we trade the strategy is based off the daily uh, charts. Um, we got a down arrow. We were trading the markets down beginning February 21st. And as you can see from February 21st, this is the first here. We never got a down arrow because it was already trading underneath that lower MOBO band. And we never trade against the trend. That's not the way I do things. Never go against the trend. The trend is your friend. Um, it's more accurate in my opinion anyway so there it is in a very quick layman's nutshell kind of way uh the trade that i placed today and my mentality um the flaw again if i didn't explain myself is once the trade once the trend has established and there's no breathing room you miss all of this huge retracement basically um the reversals and whatnot so um it just it is what it is long story short i'm here for the long term i'm not here for uh just the you know one trade two trades i'm going to trade the strategy for the long haul long term we play the long game here we uh, we never go against the, the the trend and we play the long game guys Thank you everybody so much for watching this episode, this trade. It was a green trade. I'm up $121 on the day. Again, not huge, but overall just under 10%. Um, that's the other thing. A lot of people would take this trade, these two trades, and you would compound it. I made, you know, 10% here, 10% there, they would call it 20%. That's not the way they uh, that uh, they should advertise their returns. Uh, you take the average of both trades, whatever, you know, whether you lost or made uh, money on, um, take the average of those two trades, and I made just under 10% today for my entire uh, position. 
uh, that I traded with. So, alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below what you thought about this video, what you made money on, what you lost money on, if you haven't already. Also, hit that subscribe button down below. It will help me out tremendously. It would mean the world to me, guys. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you here on the very next trade. Hoping it's a green trade. Talk to you guys later. Woo!